everyone, it's Louise here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful Wednesday morning it is here in the UK. It's really, really cold though. Um, as I was driving my kids to school this morning, it was zero degrees. So it was literally freezing. So it was definitely a day for the big old Ugg boots and the big, the big coat that I have for winter. Um, so pulled them out and yeah, I'm still cold now though. So I think I need a couple more hot drinks, maybe some hot chocolate. Anyway, today's video is going to be an unboxing video. And this one is part of my um, Black Friday deals video. So if you remember last week, I said that I had some more Black Friday deals coming later on in the week and the this was them but obviously because of my princess I didn't get round to filming it I do have quite a big backlog of unboxing videos um to get through this is uh one of four videos that I need to film um so yeah just bear with me guys you know um every day I'm just trying to do a little bit, you know, and I still want to do my stitch along because I've actually started stitching my Christmas one that is Christmas themed. I'm not going to say I'm definitely going to get it finished because I don't think I will. But obviously being the season, I want to stitch something that is a bit festive, you know, so um, I will do a stitch along as well at some point in the near future. Um so if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, share, comment down below, follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgies Diamond Art and hit that little notification bell, which is somewhere along the bottom of your screen around this sort of area. I think it's over this side um, and it will notify you of my future video uploads so you won't miss any because you wouldn't want to do that, would you? <laughs> anyway i'm feeling a bit better today guys than i was on monday so um you know yesterday was a very hard day because my dog actually got cremated yesterday um hang on a second i've got a phone call coming in right okay it was just my dad that's all so he's just checking because you know they say things happen in freeze don't they guys and you know <laughs> what happens now so I've had my uncle die in May, which was absolutely devastating. I'm still grieving over him now. And um, then last Thursday, my dog of only six and a half years died, which absolutely devastating again. So two major losses in my life this year. And then, can you believe it? The next, well, when was it? I think it was Monday. My fridge just stopped working. So all the food was going off. The milk curdled and I've had to throw out loads of food. Um, so I'm hoping that is my third bad thing that's going to happen. And I said to my daughter, you know, we've had a heck of a bad year this year. We've had lot, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. I've had problems with my car. We've had family bereavements. We've had... Um, just family arguments divisions in the family as well that I never thought would happen has happened and um, just really it's been a really really bad year and my daughter broke her her ankle as well so she was on crutches so my eldest daughter it's just been awful guys so I'm thinking that 2023 it has to be our year I think it will be I'm a praying it will be um you know because I'm not going to admit last week was a heck of a week and I was just like I felt really angry with God last week because I was like you know are you having a laugh here you know my uncle now my dog and now you know like the fridge but you know I got up this morning and I said my prayers and I haven't prayed since the loss of princess because I was too upset and I sort of realized that you know what it's not his fault 
bad things do just happen in life. That is life. You've got to take the rough with the smooth, the ups with the down. And at the end of the day, you just have to try and deal with it as best as you can deal with it because that's what makes you who you are. So some people can't deal with problems at all when they run off and they just get heavily into alcohol or drugs to kind of forget everything. And then you get others who um, who kind of like, you know, don't try to not care about it. And others that take it really, really badly. I'm, I'm unfortunately one of those that takes it very personal when someone dies and I get and I could just sit there crying and crying and crying all day long. And I really have to force myself out of it. And I know that now. I know that I can't just sit there on the sofa looking at pictures and crying all day long. Because it's not going to bring her back. It's not going to change what happened. And the only thing I can do is pray for her. And yes, I will be praying for my dog. Um, because... I've got one of my closest friends who is a priest. He's also praying for us as a family and for my dog as well. Because they do have souls and they are our companions. And, you know, we feel it when they die as well. And I'm sure they feel it. So, as I said, I like to think she's running around in the fields of heaven. Right, anyway, I can't believe I've spoken again for four minutes about this. And this is not what you were expecting when you clicked on this video. So I do apologise. But one thing about my channel, you have to know if you're any new subscriber watching this is I like to talk and I talk a bit too much, if I'm honest. And if I'm not talking, then you know something's wrong. <laughs> that I'm either sick or I'm upset. OK, guys. So, and that is my baby parrot. I'm going to let her out, actually. Rio. Oh, she's in that type of mood this morning, guys. To be honest, I think she's noticing that the dog's no longer around. And I think it has affected her. But obviously, being a parrot, you know, I don't know how they cope with their feelings. But, yeah, she's... um. She's she's been acting very strange. Let's put it that way. OK, right. Let's get straight on to this unboxing. So I've got two packages here um, and let's get started and see what I've got. So it's my daughter's 21st on Saturday as well. Bless her. So she didn't have a very good one. I feel really guilty about it, but. What can you do? It is life and, you know, sometimes life throws you all sorts of things, doesn't it? Right, so there's my first one. There's nothing else in there. Oh, dear. And I've got a new rug now as well down on the floor. So I had to clean all the house up this morning, trying to make it as nice as possible. But I do feel a bit overwhelmed, guys. I'm not going to lie. But I've got two in here as well, guys. One. Two. Okay. Right. So I've got three then. Three diamond paintings to look at, you, look at with you this morning. I'm going to get my tape measure ready. Because I do like to measure them to see how they measure up how you know because obviously they're from so many different companies on amazon aren't they so let's start off with this one this gorgeous first one so it's a 30 by 40 and i'm loving the fact that it is just folded once now and really you know they can do that with these because it doesn't matter in the amazon Twine envelopes if they're folded like this or the other way really so 30 by 40 this one is and it's a full drill 30 by 40 is my favorite size i do have larger ones as i've explained but unfortunately i just don't have the storage space guys right okay until i get my mansion that is <laughs> 
on this kit or in this kit even we get our standard green bow our pink wax our little well actually this is an upgraded kit because you don't always get this squidgy so you get a squidgy and we've got two pens here we've got one as just a single placer and then you've also got your plastic straightening tool as well that you can stick on that end and then we've got another pen that has a single placer and then i'd say about a seven or nine placer that is so yeah so and then we've also got some baggies as well which is good for staring for staring for putting aside your spares that's it i can't talk today i'm not sleeping very well guys you know so you'll have to bear with me you know, i'm not sleeping well at all okay insomnia strikes again okay so there's the drills and this one has i'm gonna just fold it this way it has 30 colors i've just had a rio flap on my shoulder here so she's obviously interested in what i'm about to do she loves diamond painting she really does <laughs> unfortunately not for the same reasons as i do she wants to eat the drills basically or pick them off the painting isn't it yeah yes okay so 30 colors this one has so that is very very good Put it on very slowly to get as much of the air bubble bubbles out as possible. Oh, adhesive is very good, and the canvas does have a slight shimmer of glitter in it as well. got our bin men outside so if you hear any background noises that's what it is okay so we do have two legends and let me move you up slightly above the um canvas itself i don't know what's going on here this, whoops sorry guys it just knocked you off of it there we go You're on one of those uh, funny gooseneck stands, is it? is it gooseneck? Yeah, gooseneck stand. I'm going to just try and tilt it. I can never get it at the right angle. Well, I think that's going to have to do. So, two legends. We have one up there and one down here. And we do have all the lovely DMC codes listed as well. And this one is the symbols are numerical alphabetical and then we do have just two funky symbols at the end there which is a star and a percentage sign so not too bad not too bad now i'm just going to see what the symbols are like for number eight Okay, so they don't have a B, which is good, because they're the two that I struggle with is a capital B and number eight and D and an O. So we've got an O there, but we don't. Oh, yeah, we do have an O here, a D there, but they're completely different colours. So that's OK. S and eight. Similar with S and 8, so we will have to watch that. Take my glasses off. There we go. I'm going to try. Because Rio is getting ready here. She's floating around. 
she's now decided to try and throw my glasses off my table guys yeah i just can't get the angle right this morning i don't know i hope that you can see it guys i'm just going to stop and readjust this gooseneck stand because i'm not happy with how it's um position it positioned on the chair so hold on one second right that's a bit better so as i said it has 30 different colors and it is 30 by 30 full drill 30 by 40 sorry full drill and it is a really pretty image it's got completely black in the background and then it has all the other colours in the middle and it's just a gorgeous lantern with some flowers around and a few blue butterflies scattered. I think these are roses here and that's like a, what is that called, a chrysanthemum I think. I think, I'm not too clued up when it comes to flowers. I do have flowers actually on my table right now because my friend bought me some flowers on Friday because I was a bit upset okay right let me just give it a quick measure to see how it measures in okay it would help if I had it at the right place so it's coming in at 34 but it's got this little bit in the middle so I'm gonna say it probably will once it's flattened out completely be more 34 and a half centimeters by by 25 Rio no come on come on darling here she is she's trying to look to get into mischief this morning aren't you Rio yes there we go. She just wants to get into trouble. So, um, as I said, this one is 30 colours. I'm going to take you up close now so you can see the quality of the print. I mean, it's not excellent, if I'm honest. It's not excellent. You may need a light pad in a few areas. You do have a lot of colour blocking going on in the background with the number 2, which is 310. Um, yeah, we've got some confetti-ish areas in the middle of it. I have got a light pad, but I do struggle using it. I mean, some of them there are a bit questionable there number one and then j i'm gonna have to be very careful with them because they're very similar colors okay so the print isn't great it's okay the black print but the white print on the black background isn't great but then the white print on that symbol there, R, is fine. I just think you've just got to be mindful of what you're, what you're looking for and what symbol you're doing. So, yeah. Okay, so the thumbnail is this over here. That's the item number and the size, which, as we know now, is... Whoops, the size is the overall canvas size, not the diamond printed size. So there we go. So I saw it and I just really, whoops, let me zoom you out. I just really liked this image. I don't usually go for images with black background, but I'm starting to because I think it's going to make the image pop out a bit. Um, I have started working on Princess, uh, Princess Queen Elizabeth. 
Oh, Princess was my dog's name. <laughs> she, she's, I'm always saying her name. It's driving me insane. No, Rio, no, behave. So, um, I'm always like, uh, I'm, I'm, ugh, I can't talk now. Let's start again. So, I have started doing more with background, black backgrounds because, if I'm honest, I prefer a black background to a white one because I feel the white one doesn't make the image pop out more. But the black, it may, not only makes the image pop out, but it's also more forgiving than the white background as well. Because if those white backgrounds are not completely straight, those drills then you can really see it with the white with the black you can get away with it okay <laughs> if they're not completely straight so um i was saying that that's it it's come back to me now that i've started working on queen elizabeth's portrait the one of her with the black background i've done her face so i will give you a little snapshot of that because i wanted to do her face first so i could see how the eyes are looking, how the skin complexion's looking, um, and how well it blends together. Okay, so I will give you a little sneak peek, okay? Um, because I just wanted to have a look, you know, at what she would look like. There we go. So there's that one. I'm just going to show you the drills now so you can see the colour palette. 30 colours is a really good amount for 30 by 40 because usually they only go up to 24 25 colors so it's unusual to get a 30 by 40 with 30 colors so always check your canvas number here matches the number the dime the item number on the um canvas so wx1322 there we go yes beautiful colours here as well okay so we have a red another red some yellows a brown a pink a purple some greens another brown another pink and another pink and then a really soft light brown there a blue another pink and a red rio just loves this part of an unboxing video she just loves looking and trying to open all the drills don't you rio okay so we have a brown we have three bags of the black for the background we have a red and we have a camouflage green another shade of green another shade of red gorgeous deep deep pinkish red there so like a real hot pink sort of colour another shade of pink and another shade of pink and another shade of pink so we do have a lot of pinks in this one I seem to be floating towards pink pink diamond paintings this day, these days and then we have a lemon yellow Real beautiful turquoisey blue, a soft orange, a creamy orange there, and then just a white. Rio is now throwing, well, she's thrown some off the table. Honestly, you're such a troublemaker, you really are. Whoops. But just hold on a sec while I pack this all away and I'll be back in one moment. Right, next one. So all these products that I'm showing you today have been bought with my own money. So they've not been gifted to me at all. And so no promotion for any of these products. And I will link 
all of them in the description box of the video and at the end of the video I will also give you the prices of what I paid for them so again this is just your standard acrylic drills and we get just a single place a pink pen green tray and some wax and some just a handful of baggies in that one okay and this one has let's have a look it has it doesn't say 20 20 colors this is very similar to another image that i done of the um of a lion facing um but only he was face on this one sort of looks like he's up looking up at the sky wondering why life is the way it is <laughs> okay so this canvas is quite stiff but not too bad okay so a good layer of adhesive the stick is okay it's not brilliant it's okay i mean you know they will stick to it but it's not really really strong so we'll see we'll see how we get on with that one sometimes if the adhesive is a bit loose if it's been mixed with something to loosen it a bit like uh, water perhaps or something or to thin it out it can make the drills um, move around quite a lot on the canvas so I always seal everything that I diamond paint all my projects so afterwards I would definitely seal this one too so got rid of all of these air bubbles because obviously I think maybe sometimes they do thin out the glue to make it go further in the factories you know it's in there okay so we have just 20 colors on this we've got a lot of color blocking going on in the background with the pink which is great I don't mind diamond painting pink and uh, let's see here, the symbols are alphabetical, we don't have any numbers, we just got alpha, alphabetical and A, stop it you, and um, funky symbols, just after attention guys, that's why they're called love bites, when parrots bite for attention isn't it, so yeah we got as i said no numbers just alphabetical and funky symbols okay you have the dmc uh, dmc codes listed right underneath rio here where she's sitting grooming herself because obviously she wants to be on camera doing that honestly so i'm gonna take you up close now so you can see the quality of the print is excellent i'm just trying to see i think this one's been printed in the old style yeah it has so the old style is where they're printed just with a block square which sometimes can give it a real pixelated look this is a round drill as well so yeah you just you know to be honest i don't think it really makes much difference how it's printed um if it's going to be pixelated it's going to be pixelated regardless so it might not come out the greatest this one but we'll see we'll see we've got quite a lot of color blocking going on um in the face as well and all down here with the h's wow that's a huge color blocking there and then obviously the background with the question mark where all those pinks are going to go 
There's the legend. And look, there's a princess hair there. <laughs> look, oh, bless her. I'm sure, you know, I've, they just appear randomly on my finger or, you know, where I'm least expecting it. So that's the thumbnail of what it should look like once completed. And that's the item number. So it's like a rainbow coloured lion. Lioness or lion. Okay, right, let me give it a quick measure just to see. Okay. So this one is coming in bang on 35 centimetres by 20. Four and a half, but possibly could be 25 once it's fully flat. Okay, so Rio, you need to behave yourself now or else, right, that's it. Oh, look at this. She's very angelic, guys, but she's a feisty madam, aren't you? Stop it, Rio. No. Rio, stop. Just stop. You're going to behave? No. Okay. She's obviously... In an attention seeking mood now. Okay. I think we have a split bag in here from what I can see. So I'm definitely going to have to put Rio away because if she sees that, she's going to think all her Christmases have come at once. Right, Rio. Come on, in you go. Okay, her bites don't hurt, but even so, you know, I want to get her out of that biting mood that she's in. It's not nice, is it? <laughs> but um, that's palettes for you. Where is the opening here? There we go. Okay, 20 colours. So we don't have a split bag. It was just one bag on its own there. So B8922. Yep. That's fine. Okay, so the the bags have the canvas number on, which is fine. And the DMC codes are over here, but not on the bags, okay? So we have a bag of of dark brown yeah dark brownish colour okay see I'll tell you the the drills off Amazon are really good quality guys you know for for budget friendly although I can see a Few, I'm not sure if that's Rio though that may have done that. A few little holes there, so we have to watch it. Okay, right, so we've got all the pinks coming in now. We've got two big bags of that colour. And then a, a bright pink. A blue, a green. That's a gorgeous blue. Dark blue. Rio! Rio! Stop it! Right, let's start again, guys. Pink. Two bags, two big, very full bags of pink, both the same colour, so that's obviously for the background. Then we've got a nice bright pink, bright bold pink, and then we've got an aqua blue, gorgeous green, and the quality is, well, they're just so shiny, aren't they? 
and then we've got a blue like a dark navy blue a light very light pink another dark blue and then a really soft yellow an orangey yellow a mustardy yellow oh no not mustardy just a, a yellow an orange two shades of green there another orange it's really dark orange that is a purple another shade of yellow a really no it's grey that is I was going to say a soft shade of blue but it's not it's grey and then a mint green but you can see the quality is really good very shiny whoops there we go it's focusing very shiny there's hardly any dust on these at all because obviously when it's an older painting you wonder how long they've been in the warehouse but this one looks okay drills wise anyway okay Okay. Hold on a second guys, I'm going to pause you once more. Right, last painting now. This one is a 35 by 35 centimetre. And again it's come with it just folded in half. We have a slightly upgraded kit. So again, we get the squidgy. We've got a straightening plastic tool there. Two cubes of uh, wax, the green bow, and two pens. And a generous amount of baggies. Okay, so there's the drills. It's a round acrylic drill. And I'm just going to fold it. And this one has 20 colours and we do have the DMC codes listed there nicely. And we can see that the symbols are all alphabetical and numerical. Okay. I really like this one. This one's beautiful. In fact, I really like them all. That's why I purchased them. <laughs> okay. So let's just give it a nice No, mess that one up. So, nice thick layer of adhesive and it's very good. This one has been printed in the new style. So, the difference being that on the old style, it's a pixel printed image. And on this one, it's regular, like um, more a round image of colour. This one's just not lying. This fold is very deep here in the middle. Very deep. There you go. So we will have to lie it underneath. Let's see what it looks like on the back. Yeah, it's very deep that fold. But we shall see. Okay. So, 
as you can see, we have the lantern in the middle and some roses all around the outside. And again, some butterflies. So it's very similar to that first image, isn't it? Very similar. So just 20 colours, as I said, and this is just normal acrylic drill and it's around. Okay, let me show you a close up now of the print. So there we go. Very clear. So it's a lot clearer than the first one, which I'm glad to say. So you can see what I mean by looking at the F. The background is a circle of colour. Whereas on the first one, no, the second one, sorry, it's a square. So that this is definitely the new style of printing. And that's how you can tell the difference, guys. So we have got areas of uh, colour blocking. So some of the background is colour blocked. But overall, it's not too bad at all. Print is excellent, the clarity of those symbols. Okay. So let's have a look. There is whoops, the thumbnail when it decides to focus. That's what it should look like once completed. And I think the render is really good on this. Really good. Beautiful. Yeah, I really like this one. Mind, come on, Pring. Uh, there we go again. I went to call her Pring, which is my dog's name again, Rio. It just takes ages for your mind to get used to them not being there. Rio, no, 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 no. Behave. Behave. Behave yourself. Okay? Or else you'll have to go back in your cage. Honestly. There we go. So, yeah, just really gorgeous. I saw this one. It just really, really jumped out at me, this. I think it was perhaps the roses. I do like roses. I mean, what woman doesn't like roses? You know, um, not many, I'm sure. But, yeah. This bird is so attention-seeking. Look, she's climbing all over me. You are so naughty, Rio. What is wrong with you today? Okay. So we will quickly give it a quick measure. We are going to stand on your perch. There we go. Okay, so it is measuring in at 30 centimetres and it will be 30 by 30, I'm imagining. Yep, just shy of 30. So... Obviously, the 35 by 35 is for the overall canvas size, okay? So, did I check the adhesive? Yeah, adhesive is good. I didn't do a very good job of getting these air bubbles out, you know, at all. There. I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. Okay, let's have a look at the drills and the quality of those. So we've got just 20 colours on this one. And they just have the canvas number on, which should be the same as up here. Okay. And if you're new to the craft, it's very important that you check your drills when you receive it. Because accidents happen and it's always easier to sort them out when you just receive something than if you put it away in a cupboard somewhere to do it at a later date and then try and then discover that you're missing something. Okay, so this is numbers 
fifth no 12 to 20 okay so we have two bags of number 12 which is 939 so a really dark dark navy blue Oops. just flip it round actually we have three bags i said did i said two three bags of the navy blue then we've got a real light aqua aqua greenish blue then we have a bright red another blue a soft yellow a purple another blue another blue and then dark green there we go now these are numbers one to eleven okay so we have a dark green a brown a big two big bags of purple a red another shade of purple an orange a green another red a yellow a burgundy color and then a greeny red greeny red greeny yellow sorry it's a real icky color isn't it <laughs> okay so all the colors are there so that's good news there we go now i'm just going to hop off check on my amazon to find out the prices and i'll be back in one second so just bear with me guys right okay got the prices for you so this first one of the gorgeous lantern with all the flowers and butterflies was four pound five p on amazon and then this 35 by 35 of the lantern was just three pound 18p guys so that's an excellent price and they're all full drills as well so that's really good and then the lion here in the background that rio's sitting on was three pound 83 i didn't realize i just found the other two as well that i purchased okay so let's do them quickly but i think those first three that i showed you are excellent value for money these are just two little ones that i'm going to show you they came in a two pack they're in the same bag actually so i'm going to just show you very quickly because i don't want my timer to go too long here you're probably thinking louise really another unicorn so we've got a unicorn asleep and a turtle asleep with a baby awake that sums parenting up completely there doesn't it the unicorn is just asleep on the moon so that's lovely so they're just small little 15 by 15s and just say yeah i think they're probably going to be yeah true to size as well 15 by 15s yeah excellent and where does this go i'll probably do these ones soonish as well because i'm really into the small little ones at the moment okay right so this one is the turtle whoa very thick layer of glue there okay let me show you close up tiny thumb now but the print is very good as you can see 
Rio is desperate to try and get at these now because rhinestones and special shapes are her favourite. I'm going to show these really quickly, guys. So this one has... One, two, three... Hang on a second. It has ten colours and special shapes. Rio, stop misbehaving. Ten colours and special shapes, guys. Just going to turn the light on. Not that it's going to make much difference because I've got the sun behind me. Okay. So normal crystal rhinestones, silver, pink, green, and then we have a medium size green there and normal size aqua blue dark navy blue and then a medium size blue there and a large blue there black and then the yellow 82175 so that is for that one and I just love this because it's a mummy and her baby. And the baby's got a little crown on its head as well. So that's lovely. And then this one, Rio. She is really in a mood today. Go and sit on your perch. Come on. There. Well, behave then. Okay. I'll show you the kits for both of them in a minute. Sorry about all the crinkling, guys, but, you know, it is what it is, isn't it, with uh, the crinkles. So this one is a gorgeous sleeping unicorn. The print is very good. The symbols are alphabetical and numerical by the looks of things. Yeah, oh no, we've got a funky symbol there with the, the plus and the minus. That's what it should look like once completed. Okay. As long as we don't have any snowmen, that's the main thing for the symbols. The adhesive is very thick and very good. And it's a very shiny canvas as well. There. Okay. Rio, stop trying to attack it. No. Okay. 11, no, 12 colours on this one. So we've got a blue, dark blue and a yellow. No, come on, stop being naughty. Got pink, whoops, another shade of pink, soft blue. Oh, actually, it's like a really light, light greyish blue, that one. And then a blue there, dark blue medium dark blue and large dark blue a white a purple look at the shine on these drills guys they're very shiny aren't they and then a green so only two special shapes on that one okay AT172, that's right and that's right. Okay, let me get the prices quickly of these for you. Hang on a sec. Okay, guys, they were, all t for the two of them, they were five five pound ninety nine, and it came as a two pack. And yeah, so really they were two ninety nine each. 
so not too bad and the kits that came with them are just standard kits there no extra bags nothing so that's fine so that's all i've got i'm gonna try it and finish this video once again <laughs> so we've got our two little 15 by 15s for 5.99 and then we have the lantern for what was it can't see what i wrote now three pound 18 the lion for 383 and then the lantern for four pound 5p so really pleased with my little bargain hunting on amazon on black friday so i think i've done all right it'd be rude not to buy them wouldn't it guys <laughs> let's just put it that way okay guys so i'm definitely off this time so please 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 like subscribe share comment down below follow me on tiktok and instagram on crazy borgies diamond art and hit the little notification bell which will notify you of my future video uploads okay all right then guys so thanks for watching i hope you're all well and please look after yourselves in this cold weather and look after your loved ones and give your fur babies an extra extra cuddle because as i said tomorrow's never promised and we just don't know how long we've got our little fur babies for okay guys so take care god bless and i will speak to you all soon bye for now guys bye